Hi, my name is Kwame Granderson and thanks for joining me today. Today we're going to be talking about cash flow because cash flow is critically important in a market where values are unstable. So what I typically do in a market like this is, is I use a concept that's often used to analyze stock but it's very very useful in this kind of market. It's called a price earnings multiple and it works like this. Let's say you have a company where the stock is selling for hundred dollars a share and let's say the company is earning five dollars per share. So if you have hundred dollars per share as a stock price, five dollars per share as earnings, that would give you a price earnings multiple of twenty. In the real estate context, the way it works like this is, is like this. Let's say you have a rental property and that rental property is earning fifteen hundred dollars a month. Let's say that annually that's eighteen thousand dollars and the purchase price of this property is three hundred and sixty thousand dollars. So at $360,000 as a purchase price, if you're getting $18,000 in rent, that would give you a price earnings multiple of 20. If we look across Southern California, here's what we're going to find. We're going to find certain areas where the price earnings multiples are through the ceiling. Even now, even in this market, if you look at the coastal areas, if you look at the west side, even certain parts of Orange County still, Santa Monica, you're going to have price earnings multiples at 25 35 very high. When you go out to the Inland Empire, here's what you're going to find. You're going to find properties where the values have collapsed, but the rents are still strong. The rents, in fact, are just as strong as they were two years ago. So you get, for example, in a city like San Jacinto, you get a price earnings multiple that's around 11. That is, that is how you generate cash flow because what happens is when you have a low purchase price, high rent, you're going to have a low mortgage payment. And, and therefore you're going to have cash flow. So let's, let's take an example of a property out in San Jacinto. This is a four bedroom, three bathroom house. It's 2,200 square feet. It's built in 2006. And in fact, it's sold in 2006 for $349,000. That property is currently comping out at about 180 to $200,000. Now, I just acquired the property at $119,000. If you take that purchase price and, and you think about the fact that the rent on that property is still $1,500, here's what's going to happen. You're going to have low property taxes, you're going to have a low mortgage payment, and you're going to have a property that cash flows because the operating expenses are very low. Well, now what I'd like to do is I'd like to go out and take a look at the property, show it to you live. And, and then we'll come back and talk some more. So here we are in front of the actual house itself. Because the house was built in 2006, it doesn't need any of the big ticket items, like a new roof, new plumbing, new electrical. It doesn't need any of that. It needs some TLC, maybe about $10,000 worth of work inside. It needs new carpet. It needs new paint for the walls. But otherwise, it's in excellent condition. Let me stand back a little bit so you can get a better shot of the house. As you can see, it's, it's two stories. The exterior paint is actually in, in good condition. It needs some landscaping. But other than that, it's a great buy because the, the discount on the property was su sufficient to cover all of the work that it needs and then some. And it's got, as I mentioned before, that strong rental potential, $1,500 of rent, and that's what makes it such a great investment opportunity. That is how the concept of price earnings multiple works in the context of, of real estate. Thank you so much for joining me today.